Our closing story today takes us to the far south side of Chicago, a residence for men called Zacchaeus House. It's a place that offers hope to men who are at a crossroads in their lives. Our director of the radio and TV office, Jim Dish, and videographer Brian Brock visited Zacchaeus House in this, its 10th anniversary year. Zacchaeus House blends nicely into a residential neighborhood near 122nd and Parnell on Chicago's south side. The men who live here share a common bond. They need to get their lives back on track. It's a place of mercy and grace. It's a place where uh, a man who needs a, a second chance of life, you know, to get their life together, to regroup. Either it can be because of homelessness, or because of health issues, or where they find themselves uh, no place to stay, no place to go. They can come to Zacchaeus House, get their life together. Zacchaeus House is a ministry of deacons providing shelter for men in transition. It opened its doors 10 years ago after a group of deacons met with Bishop Joseph Perry. They obtained a building from Catholic Charities and launched a ministry to fill a growing need. Zacchaeus House is designed for that middle of the road, for that middle level of homelessness in men who, are, who have the tools and the mechanics with which to put their life together. They may have made a mistake or some bad luck may have befallen them, but with some guidance and some direction, they can get on with life. Each resident of Zacchaeus House is assigned a deacon who helps the men navigate through the challenges of life. Spiritual development is considered a key element. Signs of the Catholic faith abound, including this painting of the resurrection drawn by one of the house's founders, the late deacon Abram Sally. Why such a strong emphasis on faith? You know, when you're, when you're, when you're hurting down, um, it's kind of hard to um, um, restore yourself financially. Um, so therefore, prayer is needed. Spiritual guidance is needed. And, and understanding where you're at in life. Because many times it happened to a guy when they're in their 50s. You know, after they've been through the work world, um, they looked at their lives and realized that uh, they, they've done all they could do and still didn't make it. And for them, that's pretty painful. So therefore, faith is... is it's what gets them through it all. More than 70 men have resided at Zacchaeus House over the past decade. The maximum stay is two years, and a follow-up program is in place. Residents are thankful for the guidance they receive through this ministry. It's been wonderful. I've had a real opportunity to regain my spiritual focus, uh, regain my health, uh, have an opportunity to think what I'm going to do in my next stage of life. Certainly it's a lot better than you know, I, I fortunately was never on the streets, but certainly the fear of being on the street without a home was a pretty traumatic uh, experience. The Zacchaeus House has provided me with an opportunity to do some things that I otherwise wouldn't have an opportunity to do, such as uh, I'm currently enrolled in school. I'm going back to school to get my degree. Uh, I have an interest in residential care, so this is very important. You know, important for me. Of course, the, the, the nice ambience, the shelter, and uh, you know, the uh, counseling that you get here uh, helps you to kind of like keep a good direction uh, for what you need to do in your life, you know, what you want to do the rest of your life. And uh, this has been very good for me. These stories of hope reflect well on a ministry that helps men bounce back from the worst of times. And the stories leave no doubt that Zacchaeus House was appropriately named. Well, from the scriptures. And uh, when uh, well, Jesus was coming to a town and it was Zacchaeus, couldn't see him, he was too short for a statue. You know, so he climbed up a tree. And uh, that's one of the reasons why we like our tree in front of the house, uh, to see Jesus. And then Jesus came to his house and uh, Zacchaeus showed him hospitality. And uh, therefore his faith began to grow and develop. And that's how we want to have to come, to come experience some hospitality, meet Jesus, and then faith began to develop. So what's the significance of Zacchaeus' house celebrating its 10th year? The 10th anniversary is an opportunity to uh, say thanks to God for 10 years of being able to do it reasonably as we've been able to do it and to uh, chart out the future and how we might be able to do it better and amass some new resources with which to perhaps even expand our programs. Zacchaeus House has just been a godsend. Every day I, I thank God for the blessings he's given me. Um, we're, we're, we're the best gentlemen here besides myself are very lucky to be here. Congratulations to Deacon Coleman and all the deacons who minister to the men staying at Zacchaeus House. Learn more about Zacchaeus House and how you can contribute to the ministry by going to ZacchaeusHouse.org. 
and that's Z-A-C-C-H-A-E-U-S, ZacchaeusHouse.org.